and the BCCI chief seems to be distancing himself uh, from his uh, son-in-law. The India Cement uh, uh, Company has now issued a statement. India Cement clarifies that Mr. Gurunath Mayappan is neither the owner nor CEO Team principal of Chennai Super Kings, Mr. Gurunath is only one of the members, honorary members rather, of the management team of the Chennai Super Kings. That is the statement that is coming out from India Cements. They are, of course, the owners of the Chennai Super Kings. And as we have been telling you, uh, Gurunath Mayapan is the CEO and the the India Cements organization, though, has issued a statement right now clarifying and, in fact, stating that Gurunath Mayapan is neither the owner nor the CEO or the team principal of the Chennai Super Kings. In fact, Harini is now joining us with more details. Uh, Harini, this is uh, somewhat surprising. Uh, the father-in-law's company is now distancing himself from the son-in-law. It's a busy, pretty bizarre defense that's been put up by the India Simmons where they've come out stating uh, that Gurunath Mayapan is uh, nowhere associated with the Chennai Super Kings, nor is he the owner, nor is he the team principal. In fact, this accreditation that we see it clearly states it's of the IPL uh, 2008. His accreditation clearly states that he is the team owner. And if that is not so, we also know Gurunath Mayapan, he has uh, his uh, account on a social networking website, which also states that he is the team principal of the Chennai Super Kings. So pretty bizarre defense that's been put forth uh, by uh, the uh, India Cements officials where they state that he has uh, no role to play nor to be associated with the Chennai Super Kings. But the big question is now if he is not the owner, how on, how has he got this accreditation for the IPL? If he is not the owner, how is he present at the post-match uh, presentation uh, area that we have seen? And we what we know is that our BCCI and IPL follows a procedure which clearly states that a list of names have been given by the team management of the team owners and the directors who are present on the auction table who are present in near the dugout area of the players and have only special access to certain people who are part of the team management or are part of the ownership uh, pattern you're absolutely right harini in fact uh, gurunath has been seen at uh, seen at ipl auctions as the team ceo and now india cements is uh, going out and completely distancing uh, uh, itself uh, from gurunath mayapan one thing also becoming increasingly clear from this stand uh, that india cement has taken that there could be incriminating evidence strong evidence against uh, gurunath which links him to the ipl scandal well, absolutely. The statement that's come in, it's pretty bizarre. Now, India Cement's trying to state that he has no role to play in Chennai Super Kings. He's not the owner, nor is he the CEO or the team principal. However, his accreditation clearly states he's the team owner. His uh, social networking website account still states that he is the team principal of Chennai Super Kings. And if he's not the owner, one wonders why has he got the owner's pass? Because usually there are, there are certain names that are given to the BCCI on basis of which passes are made. Those names are also given to ICC so that those accredited people have access to the dugout area, have access to the ground area and also we've seen Gurunath Mayapan being present at post-match presentations where he's representing Chennai Super Kings as the owner. He's also been, uh, he's also been sitting on the Chennai Super Kings uh, table when it comes to players auction. So uh, clearly if that is the case where he's not been associated with the IPL uh, Chennai Super Kings, then IPL has uh, breached certain and violated certain rules and regulations if that is the case. But pretty bizarre defense that's been put up by India Cements 